Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you a very useful way of clipping and cropping the edges of screen recordings done in Microsoft Teams in order to make them look a little bit better for our students. What you can see on the screen in front of you is actually a live practical session we carried out a few weeks ago, but you can see it's been recorded a Microsoft Stream from a Teams event. You can see that the video itself, the screen share, and the inset video here look great, but at the bottom of the screen you can see the avatars of all of the students that are in attendance, and there is some space on the left and the right side of the screen, which we don't necessarily need on the final recording that's then given to the students. So, we can do this in Handbrake. Handbrake has the capability of not only trimming the start or end of videos, but also trimming the edges of videos. So, in other words, we can use Handbrake to re-encode this video, and while it re-encodes it, it can crop off the bits of the video we don't want. So, let's show how we do that. Here I have Handbrake on the left-hand side of my screen, and this is the Practical Live Session MP4 file in my Finder window. So I can drag that to Handbrake. If I go to the Picture Settings and choose Custom Cropping, I can enter numbers into the left, top, right and bottom boxes, which crop various parts of the screen off. By default, Handbrake tries to maximize the screen size, and you can see here it's automatically cut off 96 pixels from the left-hand side, because that was just blank space. By clicking on the preview window, we can see what that looks like. And you can see here that it's nicely trimmed off the black area on the side of the screen, but it's left this black area on the right side of the screen because there is an avatar on the bottom. So, returning to Handbrake and making sure my video is set on 1920 by 1080, in other words, full HD, I can then enter 96 into the left, 96 into the right, and 108 into the bottom. What you'll notice now in the preview, that it has trimmed the video nicely to the left and the right hand side, and also trimmed off all of the bottom of the screen corresponding to the Teams meeting. And if I scroll through various parts of this video, you'll see that the video plays back and looks really nice without any of that Teams junk on the bottom or sides of the screen. So now I've set left and right to 96 and the bottom to 108. I can make sure I save this file and re-encode it to somewhere on my hard disk. I can do that by clicking on the browse window. And I can save this now in my downloads folder as practical one. I can click now on start encode and it'll save this. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.